All righty. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to launch Keyshot um, 2023. You'll probably end up uh, with the welcome screen. Just exit out of that. Um, there we go. All right. So uh, first thing that we're going to probably do is uh, we're just going to drop in a model. I had one prepared ahead of time, which is the Apple AirPod Max. You can either uh, drag and drop the file right into Keyshot, or you can just go to File, Import, navigate to where you will find the assets. Uh, I have it conveniently located here. And then you can open that up. When you're importing, Depending on the file type, you'll have a bunch of different options. This particular file is an FBX. The way that I like to import things is I like to keep things relative to the native origin um, because sometimes the file is posed in a specific way. And I have the environment and the camera to where the camera will look at the geometry and also they'll adjust the environment to fit uh, the model that you're importing in. The other tab that I like to make sure is selected appropriately is for the textures. Um, the way that I manage my files is I keep all the textures into its own folder um, and I keep all textures in all textures and files within like uh, the same folder instead of using kind of like a resource folder that's held on your local desktop. And when you have those things selected, just import in. And we have our headset model. First thing I like to do is ensure uh, GPU mode and denoise is turned on if you have a GPU that you're using. I find that it's just a lot faster to see renders when you're using the GPU mode. When you have it in here, the first thing that I like to check is that for the headset is that the size is actually the appropriate size. The reason for that is because if your scaling of the model is incorrect, they'll throw things off in Keyshot because Keyshot actually uses real life actual distances and sizes. So if a model is either way too big or way too small, this will cause like lighting and textures and everything else to not be properly displayed. Um, so when we're looking here at the size, we see that it's 17.4 uh, centimeters by 19.4 centimeters by 8.2 centimeters. And that sounds about right for a headset. Um, when that is done, the first thing I like to do is uh, when I'm setting up templates is I like to center everything, ensure everything is in the middle of the frame. Um, you can open this advanced tab here and you want to snap the model to the ground and you can also hit center here to ensure that it's centered within your your key shot environment um, and after you have everything centered and squared away uh, i like to check it to make sure everything looks good with the standard views i go to like the front back make sure the front and back is all correct and left and right so everything's looking pretty good. We said, OK, everything's locked in. So we go back to the front, maybe tilt a little so we can see some more of the different aspects.